Hi uh, hey everybody, welcome back. So in this, uh, another very short video uh, using eViews 11 or sort of applied econometric analysis, um, we're going to be, I'm going to be showing how to generate a correlation matrix in eView 11. Uh, other versions of eViews are very similar. Uh, the reasons why we would want to do this is if we expect uh, that there's some multicollinearity in our estimated regression equation, that is to say like, let's say we've got a bunch of variables and we expect that some of those independent or explanatory variables are correlated with each other. Okay, so to start off with this is by uh, housing data from a project from years ago and I've run a simple regression uh, just with a couple explanatory variables, bathrooms, bedrooms, living area, and lot size. So like sort of core stuff about houses. Okay, and what I'm gonna do then Hang on, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to back it up because it... Okay, so I'm going to go to quick, right? I'm going to go to group statistics. I'm going to go to correlations. Okay, and that enters up this new new box here. And I'm going to enter in the variables that I wish to check their correlations, right? So I'm suspecting that maybe as house size increases that the number of bathrooms and bedrooms increases. Uh, and that's going to introduce some 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 minorish problems of multicollinearity into my regression estimated regression equation. And so to do that, I simply enter in my variables that I want to check the cross correlations. I hit OK, and then you see the correlation matrix pops up here, right? You'll notice that the cross are all one, right? Because that's the same thing. So I'm going to pause this here quick. So we read this like this: bedrooms are correlated perfectly with bedrooms, hence one. Okay. Bathrooms with bedrooms, indeed there's a positive correlation. 0.49 tells us that more often than not, when bathrooms go up, bedrooms go up. Okay, so it's positive here. Okay, similarly, living area here is also correlated with bedrooms. Lot size is correlated with bedrooms, although the least correlated of, of the group, which is probably to be expected. Bedrooms with bathrooms, uh, similar here, because the same relationships. Bedrooms to bed, excuse me, bedrooms to bathrooms is the same as bedrooms to bathrooms, right? 0.49. So we, we really only need one half or the, the top or the bottom of this to sort of understand what's going on here. Okay. Now, uh, these correlations are actually not as bad as you might expect them to be, right? I, I was actually expecting them to be somewhat worse. Um, the fact that these are all positive tells us that, that these all go up together, right? If we had a negative sign in front of these, it would tell us there's some correlation, but in the opposite direction. So as one goes up, the other goes down, okay? Um, in the companion video of this, I talk much more about the degree to which this becomes a problem, right? If you exhibit, if you see very, very high correlation rates between multiples of your independent variables, then you're going to have fairly high degrees of multicollinearity and the... Uh, the standard errors associated with your estimated betas are going to be larger than they would otherwise be. In other words, we sort of reduce certainty about the quality of our estimators. Okay, that's enough for this time. You got the idea. See you again next time. Bye.